Okay, so before I start it, I just want to let you guys know that this is going to be a really long video. So, yeah. Assalamualaikum. Hey there, guys. Keith here. It's very lovely to see you guys all as always. How are you guys all? I hope that you guys are having a great day and enjoying your lives as always. Okay, so this is me still in my old bedroom in Malang that you guys always see in my videos. But there is a different story in this video. As you guys can see from the title, this is going to be a really long plus emotional video. So I hope that you guys will enjoy it and yeah, just prepare some tissues and snack, chill out, relax and enjoy this video. This is my moving out story and the story begins now. Okay, so it all started in one night on what month? It's April. Yes, around April, my dad came to me and told me that we're about to move out because he was being moved to another city in Indonesia. I used to live in Malang from 20th of June 2015 until 2017 in around April. By the way, this is Sammy, my new cat from my friend Baofi. So thank you so much for this cute cat. If you haven't seen my cat, this is a little refreshing before the tears begin. So yeah, meet Sammy everyone. Isn't he cute? Okay, back to the topic. So yeah, we got the news that we were about to move out and leave Malang for good. We moved to another city called Bandung, which is located in west of Java. I was so shocked when I heard it, so I didn't know what to do. I, I was loving my life in Mala. I loved everything about it, every single detail about it. And you guys know how much I love Mala. And it just feels so weird packing things up, putting everything inside boxes like I used to do before I moved to Mala. I mean, I thought that I could be used to things like this, like moving out, but I was wrong. Things like this were hard for me. And this is the hardest thing ever in the early of 2017 for me. Leaving Mala, leaving my family there, my friends, my memories there, my chance, opportunities, and many things else. Okay, so let me take you guys into a chat. If you guys close your eyes and I say Mala, what comes in your head? When I say the word ma lang, what comes in your head? Ma lang, a little nice comfortable city near Surabaya in east of Jaffa. My second home for me, I guess, beside Bogor. I love ma lang. The very first thing that I really love about Mala is the environment and how the road is not extremely crowded and have many traffic jams. No, Mala doesn't have that. Mala for me is really peaceful. I really like how things work on the road. I really love the vibes. Whenever I go home from school, whenever I go somewhere, the roads there is just like, I don't know, super comfortable. And beside the environment, you guys know how much I love foods and if you guys are food lovers, I believe that you will know about this. Baso Malang, especially Baso Presiden Malang, which is very famous, everybody knows it. Baso Presiden Malang sells the best Baso Malang ever. Especially their Baso Bakar, you guys really need to try it. If you guys visit Malang someday, I totally recommend it to you guys because it is super duper good. Look, I even do the finger licking. Sorry about that. Also, if you guys visit Batu, you guys really need to try Pos Ketan. And it's really, really legendary. People know that they have the best Ketan ever. And they have various flavors from sweet and then to the salty one. You guys can choose it. And trust me, their hot tea is just the best. It is so good, so satisfying. Every time I go to Batu, it's like a must. And you guys must try it. Another recommendation for me. Write that, check that, note that, good. 
Okay, besides that, I also really love Batu. Batu is only 30 minutes from Malang, so it doesn't cost that much time. Batu has many attractions for tourism objects. Many tourists go there if they visit Malang. And you guys really need to go there too. It is so beautiful and you guys won't regret a thing. Okay, so this is my house back in Malang. My friends usually go here, visit me, and we just play and hang out. By the way, this is my room before I moved out. It is so mess. Yep. And this is my room after I moved. It is so weird, so empty, so white. Look, this is everything before I moved out. Everything is just everywhere. And I was like, what the hell is going on? I don't even know what it is. Versus how clean is this and empty. By the way, this is my little cousin Arsenio. He is so cute, so shout out to him. Okay, forget about it. I first started my YouTube channel on Malang in February 2016. Yeah, let's just skip about it, okay? Don't want to remember that one. I'm starting my new video on YouTube. Yay! Uh. Have you ever moved to another city? If your answer is yes, then you must have known how I felt. Moving out to another city is something big and exciting at the same time. You will feel sad, confused, curious, happy, many things inside your head. And it feels so weird for me when I was packing my things up and I was getting ready to move to another city and leave everything behind even though I know that we will still keep in touch from phone which is weird because we used to see each other face to face and tell everything face to face but let me tell you guys what I can't really, really forget from Malang and I will start from my school I got to school at SMA Negeri Lapan Malang and I entered language major yep I love language so much which is that is my passion and this is my classroom we only consist of 23 people and we are only the only language major in our year so that's why we stick together even though we have many arguments and stuff but yeah we still stick together through ups and downs and face everything because we want to prove that we are the best and we deserve the best because most people think that language major students are students who are abandoned or they were not accepted in science or social science major but actually we are pretty good and you better be careful with language major students I love my class, I love my classmates, I love how everything works there I love how crazy and wild we are, I love how we are all passionate in language and by the way, do you remember my bean boozled challenge? that I brought a bean boozled to my class. This is the most favorite scene from it and people are just like talking about it and I even love it. She is really, really cute. Uh, she won and she danced and I edited it and it turned out really good. So I better check it out if you haven't. Okay, meet Theo. She is one of my closest friends in Mala. You guys also remember Isa and Farah, right? Okay, so the four of us have been friends since the 10th grade but in the middle of the way, we had some bumps, but at the end, we found our way back together even though it was at the last moment before I moved out, but I still love them really, really much and it's just hard to leave them. This is us singing karaoke. I'm sorry that our voices are not as good, but it's so fun to just have fun with them, be crazy before I couldn't do that as much. So I hope that you guys like it. This is just a slide. Just a little bit. Okay, so moving on to my next teammate. So this group is called Agung Squad and we consisted of 8 people which are Renal, Riza, Fahmi, Ahmad, Jasmine, Defani, and me. Yep, you guys know them from my vlog, especially the Jawa Timur 2 vlog. I love that vlog so much. 
you guys know how crazy we all are every time we hang out if you guys follow me on my instagram you guys can see on my snapgram every time i hang out with them we are so crazy and yeah just made is dating result Devani is dating Ronaldi and me Fami and I'm like we're the singles of the group as always Ronaldi is the crazy head of the group he has billion ideas of making people laugh in a flat way sometimes his jokes are not that funny but sometimes what makes us laugh is how we react to it you get what I mean well yeah every time I'm with them I laugh a lot we tell stories we help each other I just really really love them so so much they are so precious they are like my happiness box in Malang because they always make me laugh with their stuff Baron, come again How do people call you? Osas <laughs> The people in Africa, they call me Osas. I want nobody, nobody but you. I want nobody, nobody but you. I want nobody, 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 nobody. I want nobody, nobody but you. I want nobody, nobody but you. Ah, da 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 da. Okay, school is done. Now moving on to my Leah friends. Okay, I've never imagined that my friends in my class, especially on an English course, could be such a family. They are so adorable. They are so sweet. They are really, really nice and they are really, really lovely. I love them so much. They are the coolest, the most hilarious, the most lit what I've ever gotten in a class, especially in an English course. I went to Bromo with them, even though it's not a full team, but I was so grateful and it was such an adventure. I vlogged it and we were having a super duper great time. I couldn't ever forget that moment. Who we have here are Mayolan, Pia, Mariski, Alma, and me. I really hope that one day I can really go to Bromo again with them, but full team. Okay, moving on to my responsibilities in Malang. I used to be the leader of an English extracurricular in my school. And this was the moment where we were making the orientation for new students who entered our extracurricular. We went to Museum Mangkut and it was so much fun. I laughed out loud so much there. I couldn't forget that moment. And of course, language festival. I was the leader of this event and I couldn't believe that I and my crews could make it. It was so amazing and it, it always gave me goosebumps every time I remember it. And I could close my eyes right now and remember the vibes of language festival 2016. It's the coolest thing ever. And I also performed in Kaisa Sadopus Milan. I danced and I played theater as Jane from Tarzan. It was so much fun even though it was exhausting, but all of them, all of it was paid off. I was so satisfied, my friends were satisfied, the audience were satisfied, so it was such a good thing and I couldn't forget this. This is like one in a lifetime thing that I couldn't get anymore. And I remember celebrating my 16th birthday back in Malang with my family there. I turned 16 in Malang and since I was really really new back there, I didn't really know with who should I spend my birthday with. So I spent it with my family and surprisingly, my friends in Leah surprised me by pranking me and I cried and they were just so so sweet. They pretended that they were mad at me, they gave me poker faces and I didn't know what the crap was going on back there. And then suddenly they gave a cake and they sang to me and then they gave me wishes and then they put half of the cake on my face and then we took some pictures, we went crazy, we went wild. And what makes me really really happy until the second 
is the fact that they accept me for who I am. I mean, we are in different ages, we are in different school, we are in different places, but we came into one place and it felt like we we're family. And that's a rare thing to happen inside a course. I mean, I don't know, I just feel so lucky to have them, really. She was thanks to her. I just want to show you when I give you have friends who always support uh, you. Yeah. yeah. You need to. You need to. Okay. You need to be happy because we are here for you. Yeah. Last but not least, I got the chance to represent Malang to an international TED competition in Semarang. Seriously. I was honored and blessed. After looking back to those good old days that I had in Malang, I opened my eyes today and see a different thing. I wasn't in my room that I used to sleep in in Malang. I didn't go to the same school. I didn't have the same environment. And it was just so weird. Those laughters that I had, those days with my friends, those passionate things that we had together, those ups and downs, those fights, those happiness, surprises and stuff. If I look that in that day, this second, it feels like a dream, you know, a beautiful dream that I used to have and I wake up and find out that I don't have that thing anymore and I need to move on and it's so hard, you know, you know how anxious I feel in this new place but deep down I know that we will be reunited someday in a good condition in a good time well guys my friends my family in Malang I just want you to know that I love you so much thank you thank you so much for everything I will never forget you I will always cherish you and I'll see you guys when I see you guys again today is April and I don't know what date is it today. I don't know. I, my phone is outside, so I can't grab it. So today is April and today is finally the day. And today is Thursday, the day where I finally will completely move out. So you guys have watched my farewell party vlog and by that you know that even by this title you know that I'm actually moving out that's why I couldn't post many videos as I used to because I was so busy packing things up and then sorting things out with my schools and stuff so that's why I actually can't post a video as always and I know that this will up on my channel really really late so that's why I'm apologizing right now I'm really, really sorry for that it's actually really hard for me to leave Malang I, as you guys know Malang is one of my favorite city in Indonesia it's my favorite city in the world it's so comfortable it's such a small beautiful city I really, really love the vibe I really love the people here I really love how things work how the weather feels, how the roads for me are not as crowded and how delicious the foods are here and all the memories that I spent with my closest friends which I already feel like they're my second family here because I don't have any big family here so my closest friends and my friends in Lia, all of them are my big family here for me and it's so so hard for me to leave everything behind like this it's actually really really a sudden thing I was so shocked when I heard it it felt like a dream and even until now I still can't believe that I'm going to move and leave everything uh, not completely forget I mean because I obviously can't forget any one of them and I really hope that we will always stick together and keep in touch and I can't wait to come back here and as you guys can see the background I don't know why it is so bright because this is white all of this is white so that's why it's really really 
right behind me actually um, I have so many great things here I have so many memories I remember hanging out with my friends here giving surprises helping my friends to you know be in a relationship and then so many stuff I couldn't think enough for them sometimes I even think that I'm not a good friend for them I know I'm, I'm not worth it but I'm totally grateful for having them like really I actually dedicate this video for them for all of them who stick with me through everything no matter what uh, no even though we fight yes there are ups and downs we fight but after that we learn that we have to complete each other and accept each other for who we truly are and that's how we can be close friends such like family uh, guys if you're watching this right now i don't know how to say thank you because i know thank you will never be enough for all of you guys please don't forget about me i wish you all the best happiness success i wish you all the greatest things in life I please keep in touch please don't forget about me uh, i'm sorry for all of my mistakes um, i'm sorry if i if i still can't be a good friend like how you guys expect me to be i'm sorry for my flaws i'm sorry for everything and you guys are just the best and a special thing that i've ever received here and trust me i wouldn't survive living in this place without the help from you guys so you guys are amazing and i just love all of you so so much and i'm saying this from the deepest part of my heart i'm not going to cry in this video i'm trying to hold it even though my you can tell from my voice starts to croaky and stuff so by the way, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And this video represents my 100 subscribers video. I'm, I know it's pretty sad, but I just want it to be like special and something. So thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I hope that we can make a bigger family. And for you guys who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And for you guys who have subscribed, thank you thank you so much I really appreciate it and you guys don't know how happy I was when I figured out that I reached 100 subscribers it felt amazing and it felt like a dream I never ever imagined that I would make it this far like until 100 subscribers for me 100 is such a number and it, it means a lot to me okay so thank you thank you so much for doing that for me I hope that we will always stick together and have each other backs and have each other shoulders okay so i think that's all for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't the button is down below just click it uh, also share this video to your friends your family and don't forget to comment down below, suggest me things, and communicate me through there. Or you guys can follow me on my social medias. Everything will be on the description box. If you want to communicate, communicate there. Just let me know. Uh, ask for a fallback and let me know that you are my subscribers. I will gladly follow you guys back. And yeah, it's such an honor to make videos for you guys. And once again, thank you for 100 subscribers and for all of you guys, my closest friends, my family in Malang. I love you guys all so so much. Thank you so much for everything and I couldn't be more grateful and guess that's all from case today. Case out. Assalamualaikum and bye guys. See you in another video or vlog and yeah. Love you guys all so so much and I'm off. Bye. Alicia's channel. <laughs> hey guys, Kay's here and love you so see you guys as always. Jadi kita kita lagi ngebaca channel ya Kalisha. Jadi hari ini kita lagi di Rich. Kita mau bagi sahan. Buat sahan terakhir nih. Eh, karaoke. Karaoke. Tapi kita lo
budget kita nggak ada persiapan sama sekali dia tuh kayak ini ya guys dia tuh masih tahu dia pindah itu hamin satu sebelum dia pindah itu bangke tapi tapi dia hamin tapi dia hamin kamu kan dia hamin kamu ya kan dia doa kita mau doa jadi kita mau kasih pesan eh bukan pesan sih apa ya pesan 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 dulu lah soalnya kita nggak punya apa apa first impression ya apa cantik hmm iya cantik pinter bahasa inggris pinter banget bahasa inggrisnya so lancar dan menyebalkan apa lagi Um, Kalisia tuh gimana? Tinggi. Soalnya minum air tuh. Calon ada error. Calon calon jurusan bahasa Arab. Ui, amin. amin. Lemu, lemu. <laughs> lemu dari mana? Terus lagi ya. Kalisia tuh nyebelin. Tapi kalau lagi Pak dalam masa itu masuk masuk no. Enggak, itu nyebelin. Kalisia tuh nyebelin kalau lagi di kelas soalnya dia paling sip bahasa Inggris. Iya, dan dia paling yang lainnya enggak bisa ngomong. paling lancar. Terus paling benci banget kalau permainan tebak kata. Nah, paling takut sama hantu. Iya padahal padahal itu something yang enggak sakit. Terus Kalisia tuh kayak gimana? Kalisia itu gendut. Nah, umel, umel, umel. Umel, umel. Terus apa ya? Kalau ngomong bahasa Inggris cepet. Ngerap, ngerap, ngerap. Ngerap ya. Yang memorable banget sih ke Bromo. Tapi aku tak melo. Wah. Pesan buat Kalisha. Ya aku mau pesan. Pesan buat Kalisha. Jaga diri, hati-hati di sana. Jaga pergaulan ya. Jaga kesehatan. Rasa minder, jangan pernah, jangan pernah nyayat nyayat. Jangan lagi. sampai dibully ya. Jangan, nah, uh, terus jangan ingat kalau kita berkelas, kita harus, kita berapa sih? Kita tuh, kita selalu ada buat kamu. Ya. Kita selalu stay buat kamu. Jangan lupa fokus aja. Hampir ke Malang lagi. Terus hmm. fokus ke apa yang kamu mau. Jangan fokus ke apa yang akan kamu hadapi. Nah, betul. Jangan. Kamu mau ikan, jangan kira kira tuan Nanti kita ketemu udah pakai jas kuning kuning. Kuning kuning, kuning asik asik. Kuning kuning. Nanti kita ketemu udah pada udah pada sukses kok. Amin. Amin. Ya. Jangan lupain kita intinya. Apa lagi ya? Kita sayang. Oh. We love you. Love you. Love you. We love you. Ini nih. Ini Ovi. 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 Pesan 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 aja. Pesan aja. Bawa. Pesan apa rek? Ya apa? Baik baik di sana kak. Jangan lupain kita. Ya terus apa? Semoga di Bandung sekolahnya tetap jadi yang terbaik. Good. And then? Terus habis SPM, pergi ke Bali. Banyak temennya, tapi yang tapi yang temen lama jangan diinginkan. Jangan lupakan kita. Apa? Apa? Terima kasih Kalisia. Kamu hebat. Matikan dulu ya, dadah. Gimana nih matikannya? Ya, apa yang stop video ya?